Hello, I'm Jordan, and you're not, and don't worry, this mug is going to come in handy later, I promise. This is my review on Texas Chainsaw, oh, that's what it's called, Texas Chainsaw, but in the theater it was released as Texas Chainsaw 3D, so there's no massacre in it. And it's, it's, and it's a direct sequel to the original 1974 film, The Texas Chainsaw Massacre, directed by Toby Hooper. Uh, I'm smart. So, I actually really kind of like this movie. When I first saw it, I thought it was kind of bland. To me, when I very first saw it at the theater, it was really just, like I thought it was just a, like, a, like a cash in. They just kind of, it just wasn't too so bad. After I watched it on, on Blu-ray twice, it's really grown on me. So let's kind of talk about the movie and the people in it. So what I, what I love is that when it very first starts, it's like the opening credits, they show clips from the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre film, and that's pretty cool. It's actually pretty clever. And then when they, you know, start up the movie, they pick it, they start like right where that ends, and that's awesome. Like, there is, you know, they try to recreate how how it looked in the original film, but you know, you can tell that the house is different and the, they, they try really hard to make it look almost the exact same. And, um, let's see, they got the original grandpa back the, from the original film, Grandpa, and Bill Mosley, who played Chop Top in Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2, is now playing Drayton Sawyer, the, the crazy dad from the original, because, you know, the original dad passed away in 2003. And, uh, and all these other people, like, pop up out of nowhere. Like, you know, other, you know, family members from, you know, all the, all the Sawyer family members, they just, like, pop up out of nowhere. And, like, you know, the original, it was just, you know, Leatherface and the dad and the grandpa and the, the hitchhiker. And then, the, and then in this one, there's some story about, like, a baby that was there at, at the time also. And this baby, who, like, it, it fast forwards to... 2012, present, pretty much present day, and this baby is now grown up to be Heather. But think about this: the, the movie took place in 1973, and you go from there to 2012. That's pretty much what 39 years, 39, 40 years. And the lead Heather, she looks like she's 20. So, damn, that's hot. So like this this hot forty year old has the body of a twenty year old. Mmm, that's hot, you know what I'm saying? So if you're a hot cougar in between the ages of thirty nine and fifty who has the body of a twenty year old, call me. Blood face cuts your head off. Alright, so Gunnar Hansen, the original Leatherface, makes an appearance as Boss Sawyer, who plays this old guy that's sitting in this uh, window when the uh, the townspeople come to have an epic shootout with the Sawyers. You know, the Sheriff Hooper, who's, I guess, a uh, tribute to Toby Hooper, who, who he's black, not, 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 race, not racist or anything. But, you know, I'm pretty sure in the very original they said there was, like, a sheriff, and they, they, he wasn't Sheriff Hooper, he wasn't black or anything, but I'm just not being racist, I'm just saying they want to try to keep continuity with the original. Okay, so, the, uh, the townspeople, well, one guy finds the baby, who, her name is Edith, I think, e pretty sure it was, like, Edith Sawyer, and they raise her to be Heather, and so, 39 years later, this 20-year-old Heather is working at this um, slaughter. Who looks, looks like looks like a slaughterhouse. So she kind of has like a little bit of a, a little bit of a sawyer in her. And she finds out that this, she has a dead grandmother. Who the grandmother is actually played by Marilyn Burns, who played Sally Hardesty in the original '74 film. But that's kind of pretty cool. So she finds out that her grandmother passed away, and she leaves her this leaves Heather this big ass mansion. But, okay, in the original, okay, sorry, at the very end of, well, let's, at the beginning of this one, they burned down the original, the, the Sawyer house, you know, they burned that down, and then they they show that there's, like, this other mansion, this other house, I guess, so, I guess, 
grandma lived off somewhere that they didn't really show. I don't know. It's it is a mess. Like it is kind of a you know we caught kind of, like with the like the the age and showing everything, but it's still a good movie. It's a it's a good B you know horror film. And a little bit kind of reminds me of uh, Prom Night 4 a little bit. If you've seen Prom Night 4, you know, just stage just a little bit of that. And, like, the, the House of Wax remake, just kind of a little bit of that. Kind of reminds me of something like that. So Heather takes her, her black boyfriend, and... I'm not racist. I'm just saying she has a black boyfriend. Don't get all... Okay, so she takes, you know, her black boyfriend and her friends to off to tech, nuked Texas to look at the mansion. And they find out later that Leatherface has been living underneath in the basement in this mansion for the past 39 years. And he's still kind of doing good for a 50, 60 year old. He does have a little bit of a limp, but, but that's because in the original film he kind of accidentally cut a little bit of his leg in there. And let's see, they... So Heather finds out, you know, that she is a sawyer, and but you know, Leatherface doesn't know that yet. He's, you know, he thinks of her just another woman that's coming out on his territory, respect his authority. And uh, the townspeople are still crazy after 39 years. They still, like, they try to, you know, pretty much just try to kill Heather. Like they try to, they make us root for Leatherface. And then there's a scene at the carnival, which is pretty cool because there's a reference to Saw. And oh, I'm just trying to get my okay. So in all, I would probably give this movie either an A minus or B plus. And I actually prefer this one over the original movie. I'm sorry. I know I know there's a lot of diehard fans out there of the original movie, but I just think this one has a better storyline, and I just care about it more and th I think it'd be awesome if you found out that you had like a psychotic killer like like Leatherface or Freddy or Jason or Michael as a as a family member that'd be like yeah Leatherface if you could just go ahead and slice and dice and kill and cut up rotting cesspool for me that'd be great I told you this mug was gonna come in handy that was for an office space spoof So, yeah, it's actually not bad for a film. Just don't think of it as perfect. It's just a, another horror film that they don't all have to be the perfect horror film, but it, it, it is good for a Texas Chainsaw Massacre film. It's a lot better than Texas Chainsaw Massacre The Next Generation, which had Renee Zellweger and Matthew McConaughey. I hated that one. I hope I never see it again, ever, in my life. And I hear they're doing a sequel called Tex Texas Chainsaw 4. So this is supposed to be the second one in a new series, like with the original. The original's one, Texas Chainsaw is two, and then Texas Chainsaw four? How the hell does that happen? What happened to three? Uh, what, are they going to do like what Thanks Killing did and just skip its own sequel? I don't know. Well, I hope if you've seen the original film and if you're biased about seeing this new one, just, just try, try, just give it a watch. Just you know, just give it a try. It's actually not that bad. Just one time. So, yeah.